Tonight and every Sunday night at this time, the Columbia Broadcasting System presents Orson Welles and the Mercury Theater in a special series of broadcasts about the other Americas. Hello, Americans. This is Orson Welles. Last week, our alphabet of the islands brought us to the letter S. To slavery, the story of Abednego, the slave. Our scene is a fort, a ring of stone on a promontory of one of the islands. A powder magazine, gunpowder, and 400 desperate Negroes. Abednego, the slave, stands before them. My brothers, fellows in arms, my comrades, I do not like this thing you are to do. I do not like it. I wish I had the words to change your heart. Better than some of you, I know what it is to be free. I was born free in Africa. Who here remembers Africa? They came for us by night, the slavers. Who here remembers such a night? They burned our village. And when they captured us, they chained us together. How many here remember the Barracoon? How many remember the slave ship? Ninety days, a hundred days, we were the cargo, jammed in huddled packs like fish in buckets, from main deck to the bilge, choking layers between decks. How many remember? How many remember the auction block? Who can forget the slave block? My brothers, I do not ask you to forget the slave block. I ask you to live and remember it. I will tell you my story. I was lucky. I was sold as a houseboy. One left, gentlemen. One left in this lot. Here's a nice boy servant, gentlemen. This one is a Swahili, intelligent and beautiful. A twelve-year-old, good teeth and strong. Twenty-five guineas. Twenty-five guineas, gentlemen. Forty. Forty. Fifty. Fifty-five. Do I hear sixty? Sixty guineas. Uh, sixty. Sixty. Make it seventy. Make it seventy. No. Sixty guineas once. Twice. Old to Savannah Finch, item 86, 23 Congos, all... You won't be frightened, boy. Speak up, what's your name? Abednego. Oh, the last one out of the fiery furnace there. Eh? Abednego. Splendid name, splendid. Well, come along, boy. We'll fit you out with clothing suitable for a gentleman's boy. Blue trousers and a white sash and a red jacket and a red cap for your head. You don't understand what I'm saying, do you, boy? Not a word. Yeah, we'll soon remedy that. Look, you, Abednego, me, master. Now, who am I? Master. Splendid. Capital. Magnificent. Abednego. Yes, master. Do you know what day this is? Friday, master. Splendid. But do you know what Friday? No, master. This is a very particular Friday, boy. This is your birthday. 
In any case, the birthday was decided upon. He's been with me two years today. Yes, Master. <laughs> I wonder, do you recollect two years ago when I bought you? Yes, Master. Yeah, well, run in the kitchen now and fix me a glass of punch. Yes, Use Master. our secret recipe. Yes, Master. He didn't know a word of English now, look at you. Yes, Master. Make the best rum punches in the islands, I'll tell you that. Hurry along now, Peter Passer. When you're done, there's a sweet cake for you. A big piece of it for your birthday. Thank you, Master. Mind, bring my drink first. The heat is perishing. Send a yard boy and pull a fan. You can do what you like the rest of the day. I'll not require you. This is your birthday. You can have your cake and eat it too. <laughs> Abednego, fetch me my rug and see how it's cold. <laughs> Good enough. I don't tuck it in, just loosely over my lap. Now you can sit down at my feet and tell me what you think of the voyage. Well? Master, who lives on this island we are going to? The French. French people. Master... What are French people like? Oh, there's a poser. On the soul. Confidentially, they're a race of barbarians. Their cooking's good. Sauce a bit too peppery, though, for my taste. Too peppery. Master, are there black people on this island? Oh, yes, indeed, Abednego. They're dark and comely. <laughs> oh, ye daughters of Jerusalem. Look not upon them, for the sun has looked upon them. <laughs> That's in the Song of Solomon, Abednego. Didn't forget to read a chapter in the Bible this morning. Yes, Master. Where are we now? The Book of Ruth, Master. Capital, splendid. Now, quote me a verse from the Book of Ruth. Where, wheresoever thou goest, I go. Whatsoever thou doest, I do. Thy people shall be my people, and <laughs> thy gods my gods. Marvelous! Run along the galley now and uh, fetch some hot water and a nice, strongish noggin of... Heart warmer. Yes, Master. There they go. Remember a pinch of ginger and a touch of citron. Yes, Master. If you hurry, I'll leave a good full inch in the bottom of the glass. What? My brothers, you will say that I have not known slavery with such a master. It is so that I loved him having no father. I tell you all these things truly. I would have you believe what I tell you and learn what I have learned. Coachman! Yes, monsieur? Is this the hotel? Yes, monsieur. Well, sounds like a merry evening. What a bit, Nico. Yes, master. Well, well. Stay here with the carriage now. Don't go off and leave these light-fingered rascals to make away with me rug, mind. Yes, master. You, coachman, you too. Yes, monsieur. I should expect to find you on this spot when I come out. Wait patiently, both of you. <laughs> Quite pleasantly, too, I will say. All that pretty ballad music for entertainment. Be a good boy now, Pitnigo. And who knows that I shall send you out some goodies. Yes, master. A Bidnigo. That is your name, lad? Yes, monsieur coachman. What does your name mean? Uh, a king in the Bible put Abednego in a furnace, but the furnace did not kill Abednego. Abednego is a good name. Where do you live? I am the property of Sir Barnaby Finch. Your master is English. God save the king. Do you know what a king is? A king is a kind white man, like my master. It is because of the king that we have houses to live in and fine clothes to wear, and good things to eat. The king who gives us those things is up there. God? Yes. But God is a dead man. Who told you God was dead? I read books. They killed him with a spear and nailed him to a cross. They call it crucify. God is not dead. This the coachman is Sir Barnaby Finch. Yes, Henri. Yeah. So it's your coach the Englishman hired. I have set out here with sweet cakes for his monkey. I'm not a monkey. No? But you do tricks for cake, do you not? He's only a child. He's big enough to swing him a shake. Softly, softly. He's big enough to hold a torch. And you are loud enough to bring the gendarme. 
blood burns my skin. Bowing and scraping in there. Simpering for green sun teams. Hear them dance? Hear that pale, thin music? They'll dance faster when the rudder drums begin to sing. Can you say too much before the boy. Boy. Your master's name is Barnaby, no? Yes, sir. It is Sir Barnaby Finch. I don't like sir. Just Barnaby. Say it, lad. Leave off the sir. Go on. Barnaby. What's yours? Abednego. Now say Barnaby and Abednego. And then say Abednego and Barnaby. Say it. Barnaby and Abednego. Abednego and Barnaby. Look. The stars are still in the sky. The heavens did not fall. Now think about that. Off. There's a little thought I have given you. And when you are wiser, remember who gave you that thought. An unknown waiter. A poor, humble black man named Christoph. I'll eat, Christoph. You should go back to your work, Henri. Eat your sweet cakes, lad. I do not want to eat the sweet cakes. I do not like to be a monkey and do tricks for sweet cakes. I shall throw them on the ground. You eat the cakes, lad. What? You eat the cakes, you hear me? Eat them. They will make you strong. You will prove nothing by going hungry. Remember that, lad. You will prove nothing. When you grow and become wise, remember that. You will prove nothing by dying unless you die fighting. Yes, my brothers. When he was a waiter, I met Henri Christophe of Haiti. And Pierre Breda, the coachman who spoke to me, is now called Toussaint Louverture. He is a great man. I was a child then, but he taught me much. Much I have passed on to you. Much I would that he could tell you now. Lad, do the slaves on your island speak that word among themselves? What word? Freedom. In the dark, sometimes, when no white ones can hear. Do they wrap my shapes in oiled clothes and bury them against the day? No. Do they steal gunpowder and pistols and hide them against the time? I do not think so. Your place is on your island. There you can have all of us. Go back with your master. Grow strong and wise. Go back to your home and tell our people there what we are doing here. That you are hiding swords and pistols? Yes. Tell them that. Tell your people about freedom. Tell them to fight for it. But tell them not to fight until they can win. Those are his words to you, my comrades. The words of Toussaint Louverture. I will tell you the rest of my story. Abednego! Abednego! More bad news, Sir Barnaby. At Barrett's plantation in the south, troops had to shoot 16 more slaves. 16? Mm. Frightful loss. Abednego! Coming, master! Revolution spreading like a pest. It's that blasted mess in Haiti started it. Toussaint Louverture and Cristo. Yeah. The thing's infectious. Barbarous place, Haiti. I've been there. Food's good, though. Sauce a little bit too peppery for my taste. It's too peppery. These gentlemen are thirsty, boy. Our secret recipe. Yes, master. Rum punch all around. Yes, master. My most precious possession. A jewel, gentlemen. Shining black diamond in the rough. 
It reminds me, you know where I can pick up a likely Swahili wench? Benny goes old enough now to have a wife. Only around 16, 17 years. Well, you don't propose to breed Swahili to Swahili. Why not know? breed to line for brains, I say? Yes, yeah, if you're breeding for carpenters or smiths, but it's better to breed hot blood to cold. I have others. a good Swahili wench. Oh, here's our drinks, thank heaven. Danny, meet himself, Apri Vumi Lord. I can let you have that wench of mine for one eight. Not likely, old boy, to take me for a mark. I know your Swahili. She's 22 at the least and scurfy. Look at mine, gentlemen. Surely he deserves the best of mates. Bednico, keeper of the keys, custodian of the scullery, handmaiden of my bath, valet of the chamber. Ever faithful, patient listeners to every vagrant thought. The one creature in the world who never criticizes me, even in the privacy of his thoughts. And do you hear Bednico? No, Master. Splendid. Capital. Perfect. Now, Humberston, my boy gets better than that wench of yours. There'll be no scurfy brides for my Abednego. Huh? Who's there? Who's there? Startled me. Bidding, what's the meaning of this? It's eight o'clock. Do you realize I've not had my supper? There's not a servant in the house. Where's the Roy? Where's Mingo? Where's Desi? Where are the field hands? What's happened to my slave? You have no more slaves. Where are they? They have joined the others in the hills. Insurrection. Everybody here now, Bednigo. We ready. Ready for what, you hulking ape? What's he talking about? What's he mean, Bednigo? No, Mingo. All right. We set fire to this whole plantation. Then he know what we mean. There will be no burning. Go out to the tool rooms. Get machetes and axes. You hear me, Mingo? Yes, Bednigo. Bednigo. Don't they know how many regiments are here on this island? Poor fools. Do they think we have known for months about their silly plots? Go out there and tell those people to come back home where they belong. Anyway, you don't want to see them killed, do you? I don't want anybody killed. Not anybody. What do you mean by that? A horse is saddled waiting at the north gate. If you leave now, by the back, you might make it. You think I'm going to run away from my own house? Benigo. Yes. Are you with me? Are you with them? Of course you are. You're like my son. You're a house boy. You aren't a brute from the field. You're my boy. You belong to me. No. I do not belong to you. I have a gun, boy. I could blow your head off. I have a horse whip. You know I wouldn't use it a bit. Not on you. I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to sit down here, wait for the soldiers. You're going back to the kitchen. Make me a rum punch. Go on, boy. You must leave now, Sir Barnaby. Quick, I hear them coming. Now stay here, boy. Now, back up against that wall. Put down that pistol, white man. Mingo, you fool. Don't you... No! Get out of here. All of you, get out. Go to the place I told you and wait for me. Make haste, Bednigo. Soldiers coming here. Oh. Get out. Oh, Bednigo. Yes, sir. I am 
and bleeding. Bleeding inside, Benito. Oh, you've been slipping out into the hills at night with the rest of them. Hmm? <laughs> You're just like the others. We're all slaves. I've always been kind to you. You did the best you know. Uh, ben Eagle, I'm cold. Fetch me a drink. A little glass of hot warmer. Uh, our secret recipe. Be quick now. And I'll leave an inch in the bottom of the glass. Brothers, fellows in arms, my comrades, you have said that I leave you because I go back to a kind master. He is dead. I leave you because I do not like what you are going to do. Bednigo, we have no army. 400 are we and 4,000 soldiers hunting us. What chances are machettes against their muskets? None. No chance at all. That is why I tell you now to hide your machettes. Wrap them in oil cloth and bury them. This that you do will prove nothing. Those are his words. The words of Toussaint Louverture. You will prove nothing by dying. Unless you die fighting. Be of good heart, my brothers. Live and grow strong. And someday, all the world will be free. Well, well, old Finch's place doesn't seem to have been much hurt by the insurrection. No. Everything's about the same. I must say, I'm glad I took it on. It's pleasant here. Any truth in that report from the north? What's that? Seems what was left of them. 400 runaways or so barricaded themselves in the old Spanish fort. Touched off some gunpowder and blew themselves up. Oh, here come the drink. Thank heavens. Mm -hmm. Still the best rum punchers in the island. My boy here has a secret formula that even I don't know. Isn't that right, Abednego? Yes. Master. Well, that was the story of Abednego, the slave. We come now in our alphabet of the islands, in our ABCs of the Caribbean, to the letter T. T is for Tabasco. A little of it goes a long way. T is for tourists and the tourist trade and tired feet. U is for union in which there is strength. Likewise, unions. U is for the United Nations. And V is for victory. V is also for Vespucci, Americus Vespucci, who autographed a map and so named a hemisphere. And V is for volcanoes. May they rest in peace. Volcanoes have been generally kind to the human race in the West Indies. The exception was Montpellier. In 1902, Saint-Pierre was the chief city of the island of Martinique. On May 7th, a great thundering was heard from the core of the volcano. But nobody was worried. Pele was harmless. A place for picnics. Well, there was even a little lake on its top. And here's what the Saint-Pierre newspaper had to say about it. 
Montpellier has released its ardors. The volcano will henceforth remain indefinitely at peace. The next morning, just as the clock in the cathedral pointed to 7.43, a gentleman in Fort de France on the other side of the island put in a call to a relative in Saint-Pierre. Nothing is amiss. Montpellier is quiet. There is nothing to be feared. It is a beautiful day. Hello? 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 An instant before, the minute hand on the cathedral clock had reached 7.44. Now there was no clock. No town. 40,000 people were dead. The whole population of the city. The ships in the bay were sunk. One survived, but the men on its decks were roasted alive. An officer lived to tell what he had seen. The whole side of the volcano had burst open without warning in a storm of living flame. A single man in the entire city was spared. He was a criminal in the dungeon of the jail. Do you know the moral of this story? I don't. W. W is for work and for workers. X. X is for Xmas. Y is for Yuletide. Christmas, no matter how you say it. No matter how you keep it, Christmas. They have many ways of keeping Christmas in the islands. In all the Americas, we celebrate our greatest holiday with observances each different from the other, all identical in spirit. Next week, this program celebrates America's celebrations. For now, we must wind up our ABCs of the Caribbean with the letter Z. Z is for everything in the alphabet we didn't have time for. Anything we forgot, everything we left out. Goodbye now. Feliz Navidad. Boas festas. Merry Christmas to all. And good night, Americans. This has been the sixth in a series of programs about the other Americas in which the Columbia Broadcasting System is presenting Orson Welles and the Mercury Theater. The Columbia Broadcasting System is the originator of South America's network of stations, La Cadena de las Americas. In the Southern Hemisphere, as well as in this hemisphere, CBS provides daily programs of news, entertainment, and recreation to bring about a closer understanding among Americans everywhere. Next week, the seventh in this series will be brought to you by Orson Welles, who recently returned from an eight-month visit to the Latin American countries for the office of the Coordinator of Inter-American Affairs. In the cast tonight, Ted Reed played Abednego, Norman Field played Toussaint L'Ouverture, Gerald Moore was Henri Christophe, and Sir Barnaby Finch was played by Orson Welles, who produced the show and wrote the script with John Tucker Battle. Original music was written by Lucian Morrowick, and the orchestra was conducted by Lud Gluskin. This is the Columbia Broadcasting System.